everyone, welcome to another uh, recipe from Keto Greg. I have been asked for this by um, a, a good viewer of mine, and he's asked me to do like a chicken with a sauce because he said he's sick and tired of having a lot of chicken which is very, very dry. So today I'm going to make a creamy garlic chicken, and it is absolutely beautiful. I have tried it before once. And it's really really nice so this is just to make things a bit easier on that chicken so you can have it with with a sauce and you can have it with like your vegetables and stuff like that okay so this is what we're going to need today so we're going to add some cheap butter, let that melt. So while we're waiting for that, we're gonna season the chicken with some pink Malaysian salt. And we're gonna use paprika. Cayenne pepper. Some black pepper. Onion salt. And some garlic granules. We're just going to repeat on the other side. Okay, now the butter is heated up. We're going to put the chicken in to cook. We roughly need to give this about five to ten minutes each side. Okay, we're just gonna turn the chicken over. Right, these are looking uh, nearly done, not quite. Gonna turn them back over again to make sure they're uh, properly cooked all the way through. Don't they look nice. Right, all we're going to do now is take these out of the pan. Because they're now cooked. Like so. Now what we're going to do is add in the onions. And I'm also, I've decided to put in some mushrooms. I know that wasn't on my recipe originally, but I thought, why not? Let's put some mushrooms in as well. And what we also need to add in is some of the garlic. Now, some of it, I'm just going to put in in, in cloves. And some of it, I'm going to add in, I'm going to grate it, okay? So just about three, like that, and then the rest, I can just grate in which will be bringing out the flavour. There we go guys. Got all that in. Let's just uh, give it all a good mix. All the onions cooked. 
and the mushrooms are cooking. And all they're an added extra. So because I've put them in, what I'm going to do is just put a little bit more G in, okay? Another half a tablespoon of G. Because obviously the mushrooms will soak up a lot of moisture. This is chicken broth, made it myself. You need to put in one cup chicken broth. And just make sure you get all them bits off the bottom of the pan. They're all the tasty bits. And then we also need to put in one cup double cream. I have washed my hands because I've been dealing with raw chicken. So now I think is a good time to switch to a spoon. Keep giving that a good stir around. Get it all mixed together. And also, we're going to add in a cup full of grated parmesan. Okay. Give that a good stir in. And we're just going to let that simmer away for about 10 minutes. Okay, what I'm going to add in now is just a little half a teaspoon of xanthan gum. And it's, um, it's like a thickening agent that we use for keto rather than corn flour. And we're just going to give that a really good stir in. That should start to thicken. There you can see it's now thickening up. And this is the time now that we can add the chicken back in. Okay. And we add the juices from the chicken, which will not going to lose any flavour. So we're just going to leave that to cook away for about another 10 minutes. And that is ready then to eat. What we've done now, we've just added a bit of spinach it's near enough cooked gives it a bit of colour and looks a lot more appetising now I'm just going to cut myself a bit of broccoli and a bit of cauliflower and then we can do that magnificent taste test hi everyone right it's all done my broccoli's done, my cauliflower's done, and the chicken's done. So, I'm going to place it up, and we're going to do the magical taste test. Creamy garlic chicken. Here we go, plate it up. <coughs> so, let's bring in the chicken with this lovely, creamy, garlic sauce there we go people and now for this magical taste test 
Get this. Mm. Oh, that is lovely. Like I say, I've had it before. That just like that. The only thing I didn't have in it last time was mushrooms, which I think they're going to make a bit of a difference. But chicken's not dry, it's lovely and moisture, <coughs> lovely sauce to go with it, bit of broccoli, bit of cauliflower, any vegetable that you like really, well keto ones that we can eat. Please guys, try it out for yourself, absolutely delicious, let me know. Send me a comment. How are yours turned out? Thanks very, very much for watching. Hope to see you all again soon.